Hey everybody, welcome to another one of Chris's beer reviews. Today I'm going to be drinking a English Bay Pale Ale uh, from the Granville Island Brewery. Uh, it's good to be here, according to this beer. Um, we got a 341 milliliter bottle here at 5% ABV. And I promise that it is completely coincidental that my the beer is blue labeled, my shirt is blue, my eyes are blue, and my shorts are blue. And yes, I do know that that shirt and those shorts do not match. All right. <laughs> uh, I don't know what GIB. Oh, geez, what am I thinking? Uh, Granville Island Brewery is definitely what that means. Uh, this was this beer was established. Uh, and founded one year after my birthday. That's uh, 1984. Now, this uh, Granville Island Brewing beer is from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Uh, very, very brief uh, paragraph at the back of the beer here. Uh, our English Bay Pale Ale has a smooth, mild flavor, brimming with West Coast character, and a caramel malt aroma. A true pale ale Sorry, a true pale ale. It gets its perfect balance from natural carbonation and careful maturing under the watchful eyes of our brew masters. Um, it's got a LCBO sticker on here because I didn't buy a six pack of it. Kind of wanted to give it a wing, right? So I basically I grabbed it from the assorted section. And funny enough, this very beer um, when I picked it up, there's a little cut here. In the label, as you can see, that little white cut, there's a freaking shard of glass underneath it. And uh, when I picked it up, it stuck into my finger. I had the wonderful uh, privilege of walking up to the person at LCBO with like just glass sticking out of my hand. And I said, hey, think you can clean your assorted beers a little bit better? In the kindest way possible, of course. Um, I would show you the cap, but it is basically uh, obsolete from this point because of the fact that it has been... Uh, taped on, onto. Um, all right, so let's see how she goes. I'll be drinking out of a wonderful Pilsner glass. Um, this is going to just barely fit in this glass. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a slow pour here because I need almost no head for this beer to fit in this glass. It's starting to look very much like a West Coast IPA in there. West Coast IPAs and well, even at East Coast IPAs usually tend to have a, uh, uh, a brownish color, a um, little bit close to mahogany. There you have it. I have done it. All right. We would have had a, a one finger, maybe one and a half finger head, but I, I kind of. Uh, Held a tan a little bit while I was pouring it. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm just picking up on your average multi aromas in here. It doesn't really ooze um, the pale ale aroma that I'm, I'm used to, to smelling. Uh, you, you can't really tell unless I wipe it away here, but I still can't even tell. But uh, we have a heck of a lot of carbonation going on in there. So this should be very good. Oh, I just spilled that on my desk pretty bad. <laughs> All right. Uh, now, it does taste like a pale ale. It, it tastes far from an Indian uh, India pale ale. Um, it's very bland. Uh, you, you generally, you don't really get very many hoppy flavors in there. You're generally picking up on multi flavors. Um, so, a very uh, generous amount of carbonation in this beer. And by generous, I mean it is more than your average, but it is not overwhelming. <laughs> Got some good lace. Um, somebody once said that the good lace is the sign of a good beer. Um, to me this is kind of like your average style beer. I wish I could pick up on the hops. 
or sorry, the malts. I really wish I could tell you what kind of malts it tastes like. Um, what to say about this beer? You know, for for beers that kind of have like a, a blandish approach, uh, they don't really have outstanding original flavors or aromas. It's very very hard to review um, because you don't want to end up sounding so redundant in your reviews you don't want to sound like you're saying the same things but it's beers like this that make it really difficult to uh, again just very faint multi aromas I don't smell anything now uh, would I buy this again probably not um, that's just generally because beers uh, that are, are brewed like this uh, don't generally tend to be the type of beers that I lean toward. I like a little bit of a a difference or a how do I explain? It? I, I I like to uh, experience something new every time I try a beer. Let's put it that way. So when I drink beers uh, that taste like so many other beers I've had in the past, uh, that doesn't mean that they're bad. It just means that they're they have a traditional approach, and that may be what sells uh, to the general public because the general public likes that kind of beer. They like Budweiser, they like Canadian, they like that standard style, uh, not style, uh, standard traditional taste uh, that they're used to getting. Um, I would really like to know what I paid for this because I could compare it to you to, uh, to the other types of popular beers that are out there and whether or not I would lean more well, you know what? Let's put it this way. I'm going to try to keep this quick. Um, if I'm going to drink a beer, it's going to taste like, you know, your standard beer. Then I would be going out and buying something like this. I wouldn't be choosing to go and buy uh, the ones that everybody's buying because you're just making big, big companies make more money when you can be helping the little guys out. You know, no offense, Budweiser, no, uh, you know, Molson, Canadian. No offense to all these other companies that are probably going to be kicking me in the butt for saying this, and I am not throwing down their beers either. I, I'm just making uh, a point from a productive, uh, a local productive standpoint. It just makes sense. Um, so do yourself a favor. Next time you want to go and pick up, you know, uh, your favorite beer. That everybody else buys. Try something like this. Try something different. Uh, if you like, you know, that traditional taste, look for lagers, look for ales, look for pale ales. If you want something different, look for IPAs, look for stouts, look for porters. Um, I could uh, look for triples. Uh, I could just keep going down on this list here. There's an enormous amount of beer out there. Um, so yeah. Overall, I'm 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 going to give it an average rating. Like, like I, you're you're asking yourself right now, geez, this guy's only had two sips of beer. But honestly, um, at this point, I can already tell you it, it's not going to get better. It's not going to get worse. It's going to be the same thing all the way through. Uh, beers like this always generally tend to, to taste the same all the way through. So I am just going to I'm going to give it a two and a half out of five standard rating. Um, it. If I can say anything, um, it doesn't taste as generic as the bigger corporate, uh, bigger corporations with the, with the lagers and the ales. Um, it it does kind of have its own little unique taste, but it's not something that you could say orange or coriander. You know, you can't pick out what it is. Um, that's the best best point of advice I could give you. So, woohoo! Best thing I could say. I think I've said it every single time, except for one review, and that's because I deliberately was just like, you know what? I say this too many times, but I'm gonna put my foot down and say that it's gotta be said every single time. Don't drink and drive, but drink responsibly. Here's your uh, PSA. All right. Cheers.